Well, it's a matter of your health and money versus for-profit companies. In March, the I-Team and the ABC News Investigative Unit reported how the nation's largest air ambulance service charges patients high rates for helicopter rides that are really not covered by insurance. Tonight, I-Team investigator Adam Walzer hears from a family who believes dispatchers are calling the helicopters when they're not needed. Air Methods flew 100,000 patients last year, about one out of every four air ambulance transports in the U.S. We serve 82 million rural Americans across the country who uh, would not have access to trauma care within the critical hour, what's called the golden hour. But Donna Nichols believes her husband's flight may not have been necessary. Chris Nichols was an Air Methods patient six years ago. I got a call stating my husband was in a bicycling accident in Citrus Springs and that a helicopter was coming to get him. Nichols hit a patch of gravel and fell off his bike. When Donna reached the scene half an hour later, Chris was still there, alert and conscious. Putting him in an ambulance and taking him to Shands would have been 45 minutes. So if you're dealing within this golden hour, the golden hour was there by ground travel. There was no reason to call in a helicopter. It took the crew 98 minutes to get Chris to the hospital after flying in from another county. They have to have a volume, they have to have a market in order to stay alive. A company representative told Citrus County Commissioners the local base was closed months earlier because there weren't enough calls. If we didn't negotiate a way to an increase our volumes and increase the need for a helicopter, then we were going to have to close up. Air Methods has closed other Florida bases to cut cost. A report says after Air Methods closed its Tallahassee base, average response times jumped from 20 to 35 minutes. When there is a uh, public company or a company that has to make a profit at the end of the day, we get away from maybe the one or two flights that really have those critical needs to then just having to fly people in order to be able to uh, service a certain area. What is the cost per transport? That all depends on how many transports there are, obviously. Air Methods also recently raised rates. Well, I think it's necessary to have doubled the price. The company posted $108 million in profits last year, nearly $1,100 per patient. You get tired? Yes. Meanwhile, Chris Nichols is struggling financially. Other health problems forced him to retire early from his job as Lakanto High's basketball coach. Air Methods sued Nichols for $16,000, the cost of a helicopter ride six years ago he says he never needed. It's just wrong that we have to worry about this. And, uh... It's, oh my gosh. Just today, we learned both parties agreed to settle the case for pennies on the dollar. I'm I-Team investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you. Nichols' attorney Stephen Barbieri is also one of his former players. He and his teammates have launched a fundraiser to help the Nichols pay their settlement with Air Methods. You can go to abcactionnews.com to find out how you can help.